Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two new to us items from Trader Joe's. Now these, um, this says Trader Jackie, Jackie's. Um, these may have been around for a while, but we don't go to Trader Joe's very often and so they're new to us. Right. I have the uh, raspberry macaron cake. And I have the peanut butter blondies. The macaron cake, I'm gonna give you prices now, was $5.49. And Kevin's PB and J was four ninety nine, so about fifty cents cheaper for the peanut butter. So what you do is, I'm gonna just take this out of the box because this is gonna be a surprise. We don't know what to expect. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So um, what you do is you can. Um, defrost it in the refrigerator overnight or you can leave it at room temperature for about 45 minutes so i chose to leave it at oh that's nice and it, it's already on a plate so you don't have to worry about it if you don't want to um i chose to defrost it at room temperature um so a fork. a fork it's like ice cream Oh, okay. oh, it's uh, no, a uh, spoon. Yeah, a spoon's fine. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is a surprise for us. Yeah, we didn't know what to do. It's like Christmas. We're opening a present. Um, raspberry macaron cake. It is almond biscuit, in quotes. Almond biscuit with vanilla cream and raspberries. So a third of the cake is 240 calories. That's not bad. That's very pretty. A third of the cake is is two forty. So the raspberry. Yeah, look, have a better look at picture. this case. Do have a better picture at the end. Yeah, it's a product of France. That's why it's Trader Jacques. 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 I don't know how you Jacques. say that. Okay. Uh, light vanilla ice cream and whole raspberries are sandwiched between two layers of moist and soft almond filled French macaron biscuit. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect size for a few people or one very hungry person who enjoys the finer things in life, like a luscious, not too rich piece of pastry. Yeah, because the, the calories are not bad at all on this. But the thing is, is I didn't know what it was, how it was going to come. And so we basically, we thawed the whole thing now. So I guess we could put it in the refrigerator and, um. Or oh, it's ice cream, so I don't think you'd put it in the freezer. Mmm, okay. Mmm, that's good. The raspberries are definitely raspberries. There's are seeds all in it. I hear there a bunch are, in your Yes, yes. <laughs> they're, they're, yes. I tell you what. It's very good though. It reminds me of other French desserts we've had mm. because it's not very sweet. No, it's not super sweet, but I like the cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting just the sweetness of the fruit and that's really the only sweetness mm -hmm. you're getting from it. But I do like it. I like the pastry. I like the cream. And yes. I even like the raspberry. No, mm -hmm. the raspberry thing. No, I like the raspberry too. It probably says on there somewhere what you're supposed to do when you have leftovers. It doesn't. Oh, really? No, I guess you just put it back in the freezer. Then again, I'm although you're not supposed to refreeze things once you've. I know once you've cooked here. Mm -hmm. So these are peanut butter blondies with strawberry filling topped with a crispy peanut butter confection. It contains 12 blondie bites. Yeah, there's little squares. And they're already cut for you, so that's nice. Ooh, peanut butter stuff. This one uh, said. Uh, let's see, where does it tell me what to do? Okay, serving instructions. Uh, remove all packaging and place on a serving dish, cover lightly in plastic wrap and defrost in the refrigerator for four hours before serving. Or, this is what I did. One hour at room temperature. Why well, wouldn't you do that? The easy way, do it the easy way. Don't wrap it, put it in the fridge and whatever. Just says, uh, leave it out for an hour just like with this just leave it out for an hour you may also microwave it for 30 second intervals until defrosted uh if peanut butter and jelly is your jam you'll love this bite-sized spin on everyone's favorite go-to sandwich let them defrost in the fridge or 
out on a counter and enjoy. Perfect for whatever a peanut butter and jelly crave, whenever a peanut butter and jelly craving hits. Breakfast time, snack time, dessert time, any time. Two pieces are 180 calories. So 180 calories for two of these For two. Ones. Oh wow. It's got a crunchy layer on the top. That is good. Mm. That's pretty good. Oh, I love that. Strong peanut butter flavor. That is awesome. What is that, raspberry? Mm. Strawberry. Um, that has a really strong berry flavor. I love that crispy. Mm -hmm. It's like a crispy layer on top. Mm, those are good. I could eat that whole thing. The whole tribe. It's like a souped up peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, it's delicious. It's it's like a dessert. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, it's blondies. Yeah. I mean, they're good. These are really good. That is incredibly sweet. I like these better than that. I do too. Oh, well, that's good in its own right, but they're, they're almost completely separate things. They're totally different. Honestly, you can't compare them. Um, it's just a matter of if you're looking for a dessert, which one do you want to spend your money on? So, the thing I like about these is you get 12 peanut butter bites. And they're all separated. So, yeah, they're all separated. They've already um, sliced them for you. So, if you want to lay them out on a tray to look real pretty, you can. If you have one of those tiered trays, you can put them out there. Mm -hmm. It'd be really nice. This is a little bit different. This is, you know, if you're going to have, you know, your neighbor over for a cup of coffee or something, you could have this out and you're going to slice it. Mm -hmm. So, it's just a, it's a different kind of dessert. Um, but I would still consider these a dessert. Mm. Although, oh, yeah, definitely. Although, I might very well make these dinner. <laughs> uh, I mean, they are jelly, you know. I'm right? telling you, they're good. They are very Yes, good. you will see these again uh, in another video. I'm, I'm surprised how good they are. Because that is delicious. Kind of like an Uncrustable, but like 10 times better. It's better than an Uncrustable because it has a layer of sugar on the outside and it's just over the top sweet. Where an Uncrustable has kind of a plain pastry. Bread. This <laughs> has um, its flavor all day long. Yeah, it's very good. And now I want to know uh, if they haven't, why they haven't made a grape? Or do they already have a grape? Because if they had grape jelly, I would be willing to buy this in grape jelly as well. That'd be good. That would be great. When I was growing up, and that's all we used to buy was grape jelly. Grape jelly is my favorite, very, very favorite. Strawberry. So, um, so I would love to see them do a great version of this. These are like five out of five for me. I they're, love those. They are really good. And very, very yeah. tempting. They won't last long in the refrigerator. I'm wondering though, once you, um, you know, like how long will they last once you've um, left them out like this? That's probably not a problem. Yeah, it really won't be a problem. <laughs> Yeah, it won't. Because be. there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six servings. Yeah, it says six yeah. servings. Yeah, it's six times. And for me, I might have three instead of two, or you know, I might double it up. I might have four of the things because I'm telling you, they're they're that good that I just I could eat the whole thing. So for my money, which one would I buy again? These definitely. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. one, this one was okay. But, it's not sweet. but truly, it's not something that I personally would buy again. Even though it, it was it was good, it just wasn't sweet enough for me. This these I would buy again. Yeah, I agree. In a heartbeat. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.